Since 2004, parents, children, and kite enthusiasts from across the country have gathered to watch as an array of vibrant and elegant kites fill the sky during DeKalb County's annual Kite Fest. We've got an area where the kiters can fly who bring their own, and we've got everything off where the professionals and the, the big kites are, so it's very safe. And then we have the kids that can that can come in here and make kites, and usually we, we do about five to six hundred of these kites, uh, these little kite kits in uh, the course of eleven to four every year. So the first year we learned some things. We thought, oh, we had the we had the kite making for the kids so they would be free. We had the kites for sale, but we thought there were so many enthusiasts. Everybody said, can we bring our kite to fly? I've been flying kites ever since I was a little kid, and I just never outgrew it. Uh, every time the wind's blowing, I try and get out to fly something. I have actually been to festivals in China, Thailand, uh, South Africa, uh, Spain, um, plus festivals all over the U.S. I've met everything from royalty to mayors to um, just homeless people who saw something on the streets and thought, oh, that's kind of cool, I want to see what that is. Kitefest, honestly, um, at this point is a committee of three people, and so there, as you can see, there's lots of space that needs to be covered, lots of things that need to be done, and so the NIU volunteers are really integral in order to making sure that we have bodies keeping everybody safe, keeping the kite safe, and so we're really able to use the NIU volunteers to be, just be a good presence um, at the event, interacting with the, the kids through the Art Attack kite making. For them, I think it's a lot of them don't know that events like this happen, and so I've gotten lots of questions from the students asking, oh, you've got this, and you've got Pumpkin Fest, and you've got Corn Fest, and Middle West Fest, and they're actually realizing, wow, DeKalb really has a lot to offer. And so I think that it's a really great eye-opener for them to see that this is going on in their own backyard. And I think that this is when the NIU students really start to connect with, like, they're a part of that DeKalb community. Everybody can participate in any way they want to. We've got people that are bringing tents because obviously this big wide open field that we're fortunate enough to have out here behind NIU is uh, we have no shelter from the sun so we have people that just bring their pop-ups and, and their blankets and their lawn chairs and it's just a beautiful day.